A two-year process. This industry has been very accepting of everybody and a greater community. Now, a reality for Mindy Galloway and her two business partners as they opened the pocket dispensary. If you get two, you get one for a dollar. They're also part of the city of Sacramento's core program, which allowed more opportunities to open up licensing for cannabis businesses. There had been 30 licenses, dispensary licenses in Sacramento. It's been capped for about 10 years. So having the core program opened up the availability to open more spaces and to create more equity. This is one of a handful of Asian owned cannabis businesses in the Sacramento region. 10 cannabis retail licenses were offered to social equity participants throughout the city of Sacramento to assist communities of color and other marginalized groups. There's not very many options and access and for me it's all about access to medicine for people. So being able to provide a safe place with tested quality products to the community in the neighborhood. Great news not only for for the owners. Excited. I don't have to travel as far and something different, something new. Um, just a new vendor, new dispensary. And we just found out it was ran by women, so that makes it even better. T says he was on his way to another dispensary when he saw the new business near his home. Just hopefully happy times. You know, most people that come and get cannabis, are, you know, they're not looking to hurt anyone. They're just looking to go home and just relax, keep their feet up, you know, from a long day. So it should bring some good business to the area and hopefully some more jobs and stuff like that. This is one of a few dispensaries in the area and it's also co owned by two Latina women. In Southland Park, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. And as part of the city's core program, there's the Sacramento Grow Green program from the Asian Chamber of Commerce. That one provides training and support to people and communities who are facing barriers when trying to enter the cannabis industry.